Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on supply and supply curves. So firstly, what is supply? Well, supply is determined as how much producers are willing to supply at a certain price over a period of time. So how much businesses will produce depending on the price of the good over time. That's what supply is. And supply like demand can be shown on a supply curve. Now my picture has been slightly cut off here, but you'll have to imagine and bear with me. So on our Y axis, just like with demand curves, we have price. And on our X axis, we have Q, in this case, quantity supplied, the amount being supplied. And our supply curve slopes upwards from left to right. And this is again because of a very important rule. In this case, our rule is that if the price of a good is high, then the supply of it will also be high. And this is because if the price of a good is high, then it's likely that there is a big profit margin on that good. So there is more money to be made. So therefore, because businesses are motivated by profit, more companies will enter the market for that good. So that means there are more businesses producing that good. And if there are more businesses producing that good, there will be a greater supply of it. And that's shown on the curve. If the price is four pounds high, and we read across to our supply curve and then down, then our quantity supplied is 925 units, which is quite high. However, if our price is low, then there is a low profit margin. So therefore, businesses will either exit the market or no new businesses will enter it because there is not little profit to be made. So therefore, there are less businesses producing the good, so therefore there is a low supply of it, also shown in the diagram. Where the price is one pound, which is low, the quantity being supplied is only 200 units, also low. However, there are factors other than price which affect the supply of the good. And if any of these other factors change, then the curve will shift. And examples of these other factors include things such as the cost of production. If the cost of producing a good goes up, then the profit margin will decrease. So therefore firms will exit the market, less businesses producing the good, supply will decrease. Technology, if there is new, very efficient technology, then very efficient technology can produce more and more and more, therefore supply will increase. Also the availability of resources, if there aren't resources available, then less will be produced because they cannot, these goods cannot physically be produced, therefore supply will decrease. And also the price of other goods. So say for example, in the production of my good, I need leather. If the price of leather goes up, then it's gonna cost me more to produce my good, therefore my profit margin decreases. So therefore, firms exit the markets, therefore you have less people producing the good, therefore supply decreases. So if supply does decrease, say for example, because of an increase in the price of leather, then our curve shifts upwards or shifts to the left. And this is why. If the price of our good is three pounds and we read across to our original supply curve, S1, and read down, our quantity being supplied is 430 units. But then there is an increase in the price of leather, so supply drops as businesses exit the market and stop producing the good. So therefore the curve shifts to S2. And now if we read across on three pounds and read down, our quantity being supplied is 100 units. So therefore there has been a fall in the supply of the good. However, if any of these factors that aren't price which affect demand, cause an increase in demand, our curve shifts to the right, the other way around. So say for example, the income of the population rose so therefore people have more money to spend so therefore they will buy more goods so therefore demand will increase and if demand increases our curve shifts to the right shown here from d1 to d2 and this works like so so if our price is one pound and the price of our good always stays at one pound if we read across to d1 our original demand curve our quantity demanded if we read down is 50 units but then there is an increase in income, so demand increases. So our curve shifts to D2. So now if we read across from one pound to D2 and then read down, our quantity being demanded is 100 units. So there has been an increase in demand of 50 units from 50 to 100 units. So therefore, a shift right of the demand curve results in a rise in demand.